New Year's is just around the corner and we got 9 games for you to enjoy this Saturday night. Let's get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachinke and you're watching Daily KHL Update. How about a trip to Russia's Far East first? Lokomotiv Challenge Amore applied in a marina in Khabarovsk. The Verstas get on the board 7 minutes in. Igor Kashkov finds a lot of room to work with in the slot and he makes the most of it. Loco doubled their lead late in the period. Georgi Ivanov jumps to the slot and buries the rebound on Alexei Marchenko's shot. But with just over a minute remaining on the clock, the Tigers get a goal back. Captain Daniil Faisilin converts in a power play. Early in the second now, Van Mikalishin has the puck at the right wing. He takes his shot and it rings back into play of the five. Lokomotiv restored the two-goal gap a few minutes later. Denis Alexeyev finds the back of the net while Artem Anisimov and Rick Bouchet draw the helpers. Amor pulled back to within one eight minutes into the third. Mitra Arhipov loses his balance but still jams the puck in. It's 3-2 now. But Yaroslav will put a lid on it in the final five minutes of regulation. Rick Bouchet scores his 11th of the year while Anisimov registers another assist. That's so she wrote for this one. Loco take it 4-2 on the road. We're off to Novosibirsk now, where the snowflakes take on the mighty SKA St. Petersburg. The Verses jump to a quick lead. Harry Sattery misplays the puck and Leo Komarov scores his first goal in the game after his return from the NHL. They improve their lead less than a minute into the second. Nikita Gusev converts in a power play for a nice setup by Andrei Kuzmenko. There's another Christmas present for you. Nikita Kamalov sends his greetings to Nick Shore, who scores one of the easiest goals of his career. But SKE make it a 3-1 hockey game less than two minutes later. Anton Bordasov scores his 21st goal of the year on a breakaway. Sibir get another tally in the following shift. Denis Bardrov makes a wonderful cross-ice pass and Yurki Yakupaka sends it into the back of the net. But the rule goal turned interference on the play, so it's waved off. No matter, Sibir win the ensuing face of Badrov goes D to D and Yoki Paka fires at home past Lars Jukensen. They even it up a few minutes later. Nikita Sedikov cuts to the hash marks and scores his fifth of the year. It's a 3 3 tie after 40 minutes of play. Game winning goal comes 8 minutes into the third. Mikhail Vorobyov beats Saturday with the one timer on the short side. SKA win their third in a row. 4 3 is the final on this one. Move on to Ufa now, where Salav Atilaev face off against Optima Ballist. The Hulls break the ice just 35 seconds in. Alexander Kadekin guides the puck across the line and it's 1-0 Salavat. After on the list, Tairat meter to the frame. 2011 World Junior Champion Stanislav Bacharov scores his third goal against Salavat this season. Man and Green get back in the lead less than two minutes later. Daniel Bashkirov muscles his way to the slot and scores a beauty. And soon after that, Salavat convert on a power play. Vladimir Galkin makes an unreal save, but Marcus Granlund still gets what he wants. It's 3-1 now. A little after that, Pavel Kolodov takes a shot from the blue line and sends Galkin to the bench. The puck goes in off a defenseman's skate. After Ambilist won't allow any more goals, but they will also eke out just one. Patrice Cormier gives his team some hope, but it's short lived. Salavat holds on to their lead and take two points on home ice. 4 2 is the final. Where now in Chilabian score tractor go up against Boris. The host established a quick 2 0 lead in this one. Nikita Tartishny scores his 20th goal of the season just over eight minutes in. And right after that, Lukas Sedla converts on a power play for his 15th. Nick Bale and team of Wolkinen with the assist. Sedlak scores his second of the night late in the following period. Balen picks up his third helper on the play and truck to lead 3 0. Boris managed to get a goal back before the period expires. Jakob Berglund solves Roman Will to make it 3 1. Kazakhstan side pulls back to within one. Anton Sagadeev finally has his first tally of the season and it's not over just yet. Well, it is now. Vulkanen hits the empty 4 by 6 to finish it off. 
struck to beat Boris for the second consecutive time this season for two easy final. Next stop, Keza and Akbar's defend the yes against Severstal. And it's the Virstis who starts strong. David Dumbadze skates to the hash marks of the right wing, goes for the shot, and it's right on the money. A few minutes later, Adam Lishka puts the puck on net and gets stuck in traffic, and then Igor Morozov finds a way to put it past Timur Bilalov. Akbar's won it down to a one goal differential early in the second. Mitchell Kagarlitsky celebrates his 10th of the season and 150th of his career. But soon after that, Vladislav Kadala restores the two goal gap. The puck goes in of the post. Nice shot. And in the very next shift, Kirill Petrov cruises to the slot looking for a rebound and gets one in once. It's 3 2 now. They tie it up before the second intermission. Steven Kempfer is credited with his 10th of the year, while Kagarlitsky and Berlin home get the assists. He goes to overtime, and here is how it ends. Ivan Nimets finds David Dumbadze on open ice, and he snipes it past Igor Babkov. Severstal beat Akbar Sankazin for the first time since 2012. It's been a while. 4 3 is the final. Let's go someplace warm now. This is Sochi, and tonight the Leopards lace him up against Spartak. The red and white strike just at a third of minutes in. Alexander Kokochev gives the puck to Alexander Nikitin and escorts his seventh of the year. It counts up to beat her review. Bardak doubles their lead five minutes into the second. Ilya Baranov enjoys his first goal of the season, while Ivan Drozdov has the only assist on the play. Drozdov is also the one who improves the lead to 3 0 just three minutes later. Great snipe by Drozdov, and the night is done for Magnus Helberg. Maxim Tretiak stays perfect right until the final buzzer while his teammates manage to get two goals back just 26 seconds apart in the third. Martin Bakas gets the first. And right after that, Amir Garayev throws another one past Oscar Dans, but that's as close as they can get. Spartak protect their lead and get two points on the road. 3-2 the final in Sochi tonight. And there's just a few more scores left to tell you about. Admiral beat Neftekimik 3-2 in the shootout. George Kestner with a deciding attempt. Philippe Maillet scored meter for the third period and Manolik edged Vitas 5-3 on the road. And finally, Vadim Shipachev got himself a pair of talents as Dynamo Moscow steamrolled over Torpedo 6-3 on home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for three more games including Dynamo Minsk against Red Army and Yorkers vs. Avantgarde. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.